Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here, and I'm going to do a full moon reading for ear signs for the weekend. So it's a full moon in Sag, um, so I thought I'd just do a reading for ear signs. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, see so if we can pick up the energies or some messages. It's general, take what does resonate, leave the rest. Doesn't matter, does it? It's just general. So ear signs, what's up for this weekend for this full moon? Oh, judgment at the bottom there. That could be um, a message for someone. Someone could be judged. Someone could get the news of some good health coming in. Maybe some positive results coming in, which is really exciting. Messages coming in. Knight of Swords. Fast communication. So you could get a message of, not at the bottom anymore, um, messages coming in fast. Fast and hard. Um could be good messages, hopefully. Sometimes the Knight of Swords can be a little bit um, aggressive. So watch that. Uh, make sure this isn't you being aggressive with your words. Um, sometimes I'm aggressive with mine. Just depends on the situation. Oh, Queen of Cups reversed. Someone's not... Um, could be a um, water sign female. Could be a mother figure, Queen of Cups emotionally not that stable at the moment there could be a message about this person this mum um or this woman who you know a message could come in fast about someone not being in not being great could be emotional could be a physical thing um you know if you've got an older parent you just might get a message about that parent or an auntie or just could be a woman that you know so messages messages oh king of cups reversed so King of Cup, Queen of Cups reversed. Wow. Um, I won't say it's mum and dad, but that's interesting energy, isn't it? The two of them reversed. Is there two people that aren't on the same page and you find out? Is there some emotional imbalance between two people, not just a female water sign? A male water sign or... Oh. Wow. Interesting. Let's see what else. Page of Wands. So you've got the Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands. Is this a family dynamic where mum and dad aren't great or the parents aren't great and you've got kids on either side trying to, one's getting involved and one doesn't want to and one's, I don't know, it's interesting. I'm going to have to pull a few more cards, but there could be a dynamic at home that's not that great at the moment. Two of Pentacles juggling decisions and juggling. Who's juggling? Is this why these two are reversed? Because someone's been juggling and, and it's just come to a head? Mm. Interesting air signs. Six of Pentacles reversed. So not being able to give, not being able to receive almost, no balance. No. There's disharmony in a family. So why is there disharmony? There's no there's no balance. There's no balance there. And you've got, see, you've got the scales there and they're upside down. You've got the infinity sign, the balancing. So why are things not balanced? Is that because mum and dad aren't on the same page anymore and the kids are on the outside? Maybe there's one parent that's got some mental health issues and it's really affecting another parent trying to, look after them and then trying to look after the kids as well there could be communication coming in about that maybe you know when you are dealing with someone who has mental health issues it can it can affect your mental health so maybe this is a situation where someone's found out about something and it's going to affect them it's going to throw the family off balance and they're going to have to make a decision about it are you going are you being called to make a decision about someone Mm. Ten of Wands reversed. Um, this situation was really tough. It took a toll on you. You know, this could be someone you, if you're not with them, it could be someone you had a relationship with or you know very well. Maybe you have children with this person. Maybe they're having a really hard time and someone calls you for help. Yet, 
it's not really your place to get involved anymore but you might need to for the sake of the children you might need to because no one else can do it like everyone else is like we can't do this that we don't know what to do we have no other options like you're our last resort but it puts so much pressure on you having to make that decision where you enter into this person's life again to help them when you know you left them probably for the same reason why everyone else has left them you know i sort of get that energy it's weird hermit reflection time out thinking about just they're very similar aren't they these two cards look at the depiction they're very similar the page of wands and the hermit card Set this person's heads down. You know, you need to make a decision whether you get involved and help. Um, don't feel guilty if you can't. Don't feel guilty if you can't help this person. Because if you do help them, it could really affect you. There could be something you get involved in to help this person. It could be a queen, it could be a king, it could be vice versa. But um, helping this person could be... Um, yeah, I'm going to clarify the, the, the King and Queen of Cups, guys. Um, helping this person could um, emotionally affect you. So why is the King of Cups reversed first? Why is the King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? And why is the King of Cups reversed? Service. So it could be someone that you've worked with, but it could be someone that you, um, I think because it's service, it's almost like you've already helped this person in the past. Mm. Someone you've already tried to help or you've helped or worked for, or worked with in the past. Who's the Queen of Cups? Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Letter. So more messages. Yeah, I think, what crowns it? Love. So this could be someone that you were in a relationship with that loves you or you love them or something like that and you get a letter coming in or someone gives you a message, ask for your help. I feel someone wants your help to help this person or vice versa. Could be the, you know, what do they call them in America? Baby mamas, baby daddies, something like that. Could be something like that, you know, that you need to help them. There might be children involved on the side, but someone's not, not great. They might have no money. They might literally be going bankrupt. They just have nothing. Could be self-inflicted or it just could be because they have some mental health issues that is not, they're not, it's not being addressed. But someone's not in a great place, and I mean, yeah, it could come to a head, guys. I mean, this energy here too, you know, a message is coming in. This person could, this person could come to you independently. Not, you know, someone could ask for your help for this person, or this person could rush in and ask you for help. But be mindful of that sword energy that you know they're not stable. Anyway, I thought I'd do a um, oracle card too, moonology card for the uh, full moon. Oh, what's the full moon message for air signs? What's the full moon message for air signs? Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Look, abundance, prosperity, uh, new beginnings are ahead for you guys, which is really exciting. And I think this is an, an independent message from this. I don't think it relates, it just... In general, you're succeeding. Maybe this is why this person wants to come back because they see you thrive. They see you um, doing really well and they want to come back into the fold. So be mindful of that because this person's not stable. So they could be financially not stable and emotionally. So not a great combination, guys, to get to drag yourself back into, especially if you've had time away and you've been healing. So prosperity. I like that. And I'll just do a love oracle for the weekend for you guys too. So Aquarius, Aquarius, what are your love messages? This flipped out. Separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. So if you're in a relationship, um, yeah, you might have time apart. It could be for any reason. It could just be because they need to work or somewhere or go away. Um, maybe it's time for a breakup. 
um, what's that saying? If you love something, set it free. If it comes back, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was. Um, if you're single, it just could mean Yeah, I think if it's single, it's just it's just saying to you that um, maybe this time is is good to be on your own. It's good to be on your own because if this person comes back, they're going to cause a few problems, I'd say. So it's actually probably a good thing that you're on your own. At the moment, when the cards can change, be happy on your own. Okay, so Libra, 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 Libra. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. How exciting. Um, you know, the person you're with or the person coming in is, is the one. And um, I think that's exciting. And, and you'll know as soon as you see them. Uh, Gemini. What's the love message for Gemini? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, you know, sometimes... New relationships take ages to come in, and that's for a reason, because you've got to be ready, they've got to be ready, everything has to align, you know, you don't have to rush. Love isn't about rushing. Love isn't about just finding someone and being with them. Love is about a commitment, partnership, um, solid, healthy relationship on every form, healthy. So it's worth the wait, guys. Aquarius, I wish you had a better card than that. Separation. This could be someone that you're separated from as well, and they might be coming back, and you know, it, it's been a blessing being separated, so you really need to make sure it's right if you let them back in. So, air signs, I hope that helped. I do feel an energy that someone is going to call out and ask for help. Um, just be mindful of how far you've come, because you don't want to take 10 steps forward and then take another 20 back by letting this person re-enter your life with what could be a genuine story of hardship or one of those um, fake news stories just to get back in your life. So just be mindful of that, guys. Just be sensible. See ya.